From the very beginning, Luke Jeffers has decided to create a Friday show that is basically a spin-off series of Fridays with PewDiePie, but with a live stream twist. And since then, he focused heavily on tech topics, game segments, throwback segments, and more. However, there are some ups and downs towards this show for the past nearly 10 years now, and then a lot of laughters along the way. For nearly 10 years, FWL has been making you guys entertain, talking about somewhat about politics, and of course playing games. And now, for the 10th season of The Row, it's time for FWLX. Today, Luke Jeffers and Betty Moody will be going over the tech topics, playing video games as usual, of course, a return of LJPC BM throwback content, somewhat I watch segments, and many more fun. And now, here's the host of FWLX, Luke Jeffers and Betty Moody. Let's begin indeed. Thank you, David, for thousand. Hello, people. Sue Jerry speaking. World Radio X, episode number. Hang on, let me shut the door real quick. Sorry about that, everyone. Just came back from, um, um, uh, whatever that was, brain uh, disease. And plus, I just had a difficulty with, with this whole, let's say, um, oh yeah, Rumble, um, processing. Anyway, World Episode 398 of X, and today we're going to have not one, not two, but, um, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dev topics. Well, just two more topics to read, and of course a promotion that Remix passed me to request me to do. But he told me to do it anyway. Um, um, but then I got two more Ocean Fallback videos for the last ones of 2023. And of course, um, what was it? Plus, and of course, um, um, of course to, um, play some games. And there will be no notes this week, but there will be one next week. However, that will be all for this week. However, uh, Bill won't be here this week, but he'll be back. I'm not sure when exactly, because he has family to take care of, but we'll figure this out. Anyway, let's go on to the topic, shall we? Let's see what we got for us. His name is Ian Permit, okay? There is Case Ian Permit, was American radio broadcaster, author, professor, and, um, I can't pronounce his E word, sorry, Deacon. And uh, they already meant. Or the mid A's, Pamit or O C W R L R W Morning Show and his colleagues town um along with Bale Wall Wallace, something like that. Pilot calls it Ian Marjorie with his wife on K T M Y. Okay. On the Miss Adams Ben St. Paul what it was the regular Saturday night host on the Rally uh CK Parmenter normal Beam Coast to Coast AM, created by Art Bell, okay? On December 21st, 2011, Penn announced to do a country art He would temporarily step down as regular Saturday night host of Coast to Coast AM, being replaced by John B. Wells, okay? But the January 2012, Penn will be hosting the show one Saturday, Sunday per month. On January, July 13th, 2013, Part of um, and his radio posting career on hot on to be studying for the doctor's degrees after receiving his PhD in 2017. Um, he returned as an occasional guest host at Coast, Coast AM in 2018. Became a faculty member of the chief operator of the campus radio station at Kansas State University. Boring! He was born March 1st, 1960. Anyway, um, Anyway, um, 
Uh, anyway, moving on. Anyway, moving on. Pat, uh, and attended, um, I mean, what is the noise? It's really born anyway. March 1st, 1960. Anyway, um, Pat attended the, oh, hold on. Let me just quit some apps. No, I don't want to quit this app. Anyway, um, Pat attended the University of Illinois at Armia Campaign. Anyway, when he was a student communist in the Delhi and the Illini, something like that. And he graduated in 1988 with a degree in English literature and I can't pronounce this R word, sorry. Okay, Pat with a Master of Divinity degree with the Columbia Technical Society in Atlanta. Wow, and with an opportunity in the Deacon and the Upload Church. Okay, Pat entered the, um, the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism in Mass um, College at Arizona State University as a PhD. It's doing August 2013. Okay. Pat received the uh, doctorate in Arizona State in 2013 after writing the dissertation that tolerated the theory of true crime forms and um, functions of um, non fiction murder narratives. After college, he um, underwent phenomenon in Chase, or something like that, Chase, something like that. This person in the middle of that name, Transport, something like that. Pat calls the Rock Morning Pope radio shows. Um, on w, um, XLP in the Quad Cities called Ian Chase, something like that. Um, anyway, um, something like that. Anyway, and the coach, my like Ian K. Chase and the coach, um, uh, and then Ian Chase and the Duke, something like that. With Mike the Duke, um, Duke, something like that. And the rock, uh, music, um, station WD, I mean, KD, uh, app, something like that. In Nashville, Tennessee, and in the early to mid 1990s, between this quite um, city stint, and the uh, planet uh, was also more man um, WMJY in Long Branch, New York, New Jersey, and something like that. Planet went on to, to talk radio at WGA in Chicago in 1993. He continued to work there until 1996. He went on to Atlanta, Georgia in 1997. Oh, wow, okay. To host a not loudly talk show at WGST under his real name, Ian Punnett, my dad. He returned to WKDF on um, morning show in 1998. Although he remained in Atlanta and broadcast the talk show, the, the show from the home studio, um, while calls Mike Duke uh, Dawson broadcast in the station's Nashville, Nashville studio. Put, or eventually ship put up and and announced his real name instead of the phenomenon. It will eventually became a running gag for like that. Um, that shows where it ended in early 1999, shortly before the WK beat the uh, switching the country music format. The Minneapolis State Paul, but um, hosted a morning show from 6 to 10 a.m. on KTMY FM. 2002 to 2012. Um, it was known as Ian Marguerite Show. It was caused with his wife Marguerite. A former TV producer who worked with CNN and as well as the Oprah Winfrey Show. We do our part of the shows from the studio in their home while getting their own t two teenage boys off to school. Good. Plus, part of the show was on the, on the station was on December 21st, 2012. At which he's left due to tenderness. On August 1st, 2007, Planet um, helped report the Messiness Bridge collapse on CNN. Jeez, anyway. Coast to Coast AM. In 1998, Planet began initially hosting Coast to Coast AM in April 2000. Anyway, um, Planet became a regular Sunday night host for Coast to Coast. He was the first person to open an art bell to give it, be given a real a night of a week of his, her name. In December 2001, Punnett left Coast to Coast AM with Ian Punnett to do more in uh, the Twin Cities and um, for Hollenberg's broadcast and something like that. He concentrated on finishing Cemetery. Something like that. His playboy on Sunday nights was George Norrie. Something like that. 
He would be eventually take over the entire show with Art, when Art Bell would retire again. Excuse me, a few years later. Although Penn, um, eventually, eventually added on this and guest host, he would not rejoin Coast Coast AM on a full time basis until June 2005, when Art Bell had been doing the two weekend shifts again. Announced that he would be the host, one of the, the hosts, just one night a week, in order to spend more time traveling with his wife, Romania. Coast Coast AM with uh, Ian Plant once again returned to the weekend. They line up. We can line up this time on Saturdays. On January 21st, 2006, at the death of Romania Bell, Plant announced that Art Bell, the creator of our original host at Coast Coast AM, will be reti- returned to retirement to host each Saturday and Sunday night. Plant would then move on to Coast Coast Live with um, E. But Plant, a new four hour program on January 28th, 2006. The news show up quite a spot from 10, 6 p.m. to 10, 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Standard time, something like that. Um, 9 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, something like that. Same period that previously broadcast repeats of or Coast to Coast AM or Eastern episodes. Coast to Coast AM begins at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. To around 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, something like that. Um, many existing Coast to Coast AM athletes could, um, um, eventually carry the Punish new program into its first night. And with some government moms, several new athletes came to board. As of June 2007, it was a commercial count that should show out 200. Wow. Since the uh, his obligation with C2 2 cams, something like that. C2 T's cams, something like that. Um, especially this ter- during this tender of Coast to Coast Live. Hunt developed a local following in his own. He always opened the show with a reminder of his hostel visual aliens offering just from beyond the earth. Atmosphere to eat the Canadians first, something like that. Saying that they uh, as much tastier than Americans, something like that. Um, at the retirement of our bell in July 2007, Coast to Coast Live was discontinued. But Penn, uh, once again becoming the host of Saturday Night Edition of Coast to C2 Camps like that. Um, shows episode would be as part of the cemetery or government like that. Comparisons. Favorite subjects of Coast to Coast AM were commercially designed to decorate, um, the puns are so Saturday nights, my dad. In December 2011, um, Punt announced that he do increase his problems in his potentials. He would have to step down as a regular Saturday night host as Coast to Coast AM be replaced by John D. B. Wells. In January 2012, Punt would begin hosting the show one Saturday Sunday per month. On May 16, 2013, Punt announced he was in the way of Georgia. George Nori, who have been no longer be hosting Coast to Coast one Sunday per month. He put hosted in his last show on July 14, 2013. It's sworn in 39 episode over 13 years. On May 6, 2018, George Nori announced that Planet would return as host of Coast to Coast new department of managing his tennis services. Began May 2018, Punt hosted several shows each month. It's one of the shows designed to fill in host, but night with Court Nori was unavailable. Punt met his wife Marguerite when the two were working on Dairy Illinois and the University of Illinois at the Urbana campaign. So Punt was sort of tennis where he began experiencing in 2009. In 2010, Punt published his first book, uh, his children's books, my dad. This was the mutt with a popular butt. Wow. His second children, children's children's book, um, Juggler with a Vampire Dog, was published in 2011. He spoke out of the play when you're pissed at God, um, excuse my language in any way, was published at the April 2013 at, by Harmony. Um, 
the, the book was inspired by Pilot's discovery during his duties in the campaign that many religious Americans was on a combo, experienced anger to query in the near prayers like that. This goes to illustrate with the examples of the, from the Bible how experience anger is acceptable, how even anger towards God. I don't agree with that, unfortunately. Because I expect God. Anyway, he thought multimedia journalism by Ohio Northern University from 2016 to 2017. He was very proud to be a member of the Kansas State University beginning in 2018. He's chief operator of the campus radio station KSDB FL. Boring! In October 2023, President was inducted into the Kansas um, Association of Broadcast Hall of Fame. He died on December 21st, 2023. He was 63 years old. My next step topic has to do with Paula Murphy. Boy, that name. He, he, she was an American automobile driver, okay? She, she, who wanted to be the first or and the fastest in the many speeds elevators. In 1975, she was described as the fastest woman in wheels by the New York Times. She was born in Ohio on June 16, 1928, and moved to California in 1956. As of 1975, Murray has been the only woman on the only be allowed to drive an Indy car and speed on the track. This has been 1963 in a spa spa car with an LV engine. Murray was also the first woman to drive a jet engine car in the Salt Flats. He was, she was also the first woman to license to drive a Marvel Field car. The first woman to have fuel funny car lies in the National Hot Rod Association. In the 1960s and 70s, she won the number of speed race re records. Okay? And you go in Mexico, Can Canada, Grove, my like that. New York to Los Angeles wrote a woman's land speed record and the NASCAR woman speed record. She was also part of the Most Most Hall of Fame Award. I mean, America's like that in 2017. And she appeared as a guest on 963 of December 1st episode of What's My Line and she was a tech test car driver. She died on December 21st, 2023. She was 95 years old. Wow. My last, my next step topic has to do with the Disney chicks and it requests my good friend Billy Mooey. And it has to do with the, the founding member of the, of the Disney chicks. Laura Rich and no, um, Chris Kruger. Um, she was not in the B song from Sesame Street. She she was there. She was she was one of the band's first two albums. She was dismissed in 1995. She died in a car crash in Texas last week. Anyway, Laura Rich, center seen here in the picture in 1993. Was with fellow Matt Retro members of the Dizzy Chicks, Emily Strayer, laugh, right here, in the guitar. And Mari, Ma Marguerite, and Violin, seen here in 1993. Seen here in the picture is, is Ralph Greiner and Fort Worth Star Telegram. The fellow member of the country music group was the Dizzy Chicks, died last week in the car crash in Texas. She was 65 years old. The death was confirmed by Nelson Andres adjusted the peace in the area. Miss Lynch was driving east in the 62 near Columbus, Texas, at the about 7 miles and east of North El Paso, Texas. And when the pickup truck had the bed heading west across the in their lane, um, and the stronger pickup truck head on. The Texas Department of Public Safety said she was in pronounced dead at the scene. Miss Lynch was raised with the grandmother's ranch in Texas, found the Dixie Chicks. Now it was just the Chicks in Dallas in 1988. When Robin Lynn Macy and the two sisters, Emily Strayer and Marty McGuire, the original line of the band is which Miss Lynch played bass and sang. Okay? At least only two albums. Make Heaven Since Heavens in 1990 and Little Cowgirl in 1992. In the interview with NPR in 1992, 
Miss Lynch said the Disney chicks play cowgirl music. A brand of cowgirl music is a mixture of old time country music, bluegrass music, and collage, she said. She said three part of and four part army, something like that. Throws us some instrumentals, some country swing, and some brand of cowgirl music. Miss Macy left the band in 1992. The next year, the brand, now trio, released Should Have Been You Dot, Should I Told You Dot. I can't pronounce his name, sorry. Began to experience much more success. In 1993, the Dixie Chicks uh, played an actual ball for President Bill Clinton. But the year I was born, 1995, Miss Lynch was dismissed from the group and replaced by Matt Nally Maines. We are facing going on a time here. We are starting to really lame things, Mr. Squire said. Told the Fort Worth Star and Telegram in 1996. We are making a future decision. She added, We are going to do that do in the future. We are to be what we want for the five years. I don't want to break Laura. We saw ourselves on the road for five years from now. On social media, the chick saw called Miss Lynch a bright light. Woo's a friendly energy and humor gave a spark on the early days on her band. Laura had the gift for the design. A lot of raw face Texas and was immersional in the early success in the band. Group was her identical with a lot of talents, help proposal was um but beyond busking on street corners and straight stages uh to, across Texas and the Midwest. Lord Corn Caroline Lynch was born in El Paso, Texas on November 18th, 1958. The Jack and Dory Lynch, Dorothy Lynch, my like dad. Information with the survivor was not immediately available. After leaving the Disney Chicks, Miss Lynch um, was a, became a public resident officer with the Visual University of Texas Southwest Western Medical Center in Dallas, Texas, according to Star Telegram. So the Gord Press in 2003 that she took um, oil pain. She spent most of the time raising her daughter. It was worth it. Miss Lynch said at the time of the band. Okay? I had to get the band all over and get to do it. Now, let me tell you the story behind the Dixie Chicks before the next top deaf topic. Okay? Says this. That forming the Dixie Chicks. Okay? Our American country band... Music band from Dallas, Texas. Since 95, the band has concerned the Nally Maines lead vocals and guitar, and sisters Marty McGuire, vocals Phil Malone and the guitar, and Emily Strayer, vocals and guitar, banjo and bar Mara. McGuire and Strayer, both knee Owen, um, founded the band in 1989 in Dallas, Texas. With bassist Laura Lynch and vocals and, and guitarist Robin Lynn Macy. They performed bluegrass and country music, brusking and touring for the bluegrass festival, congress, and small venues for six years without trying to major label. And in 1992, Macy left and Lynch left became the lead lead vocalist. Wow. Upon the signing with a moment records Nashville in 1997, placing Lynch with Maine, the Dixie Chicks received success in the album. Why open stages 1998 and fly 1999 after Mom had closed its uh, national branch? The Dixie Chicks moved to Columbia Records from home in 2002. Okay? He's on the chief Mom and Problem Sales in the United States, Canada, Australia. Okay? Along several charting singles on the American Billboard Hot Country Songs charts. Those are tro your trouble. Why open spaces? You were my. Country Cowboy Take Your Me Away Without You in the cover of Bruce Robbins Robinson's my dad Traveling Soldiers reached number one in the Billboard charts. The Dix Jicks also reached number one in the adult recovery charts with their 2002 cover Creed Freewood Max Landslide. Wow. ACC made that song by the way. And, and, and Look at the switch by the way. This boy is about to be a version of, of Wow. Jim Larry did this by the way. Mains told the, and the London audience that the Dixie Chicks did not avert the war. It was sad as me, you know. It was a shame that the President um, of the United States 
George W. Bush being being from Texas. He was born there. Come on, man. Anyway, the remarks triggered boycotts in the United States and backlash from fans. After a long hiatus, the Jewish release took him a long way to 2006, okay? Now I'm referring to the backlash. Now I'm from, the, from being made nice, making their biggest crossover singles, reaching the number four in the Billboard Hot 100. After, how long, after another hiatus, the choir is straighter, released an album in 2009 in the Courtyard Hounds. The Dixie Chicks were united for the 2010s. In 2020, they removed Dixie from the name. Um, this is I negative. Um, I can't pronounce this word. Sorry. They released their first album in 14 years. Gaslighter. The Chicks have won 13 Grammy Awards, including five in the 2017, 2007, taking a long time, long away, which was these. The Grammy Award for the album of the year. Something like that. The single, Not Ready for the Mate Nice, was released the Grammy Award for the record of the year. The Grammy Award for the song of the year by 20, this July 2020, with three, three of the most million certified albums sold, and still 27.9 million albums in the United States. The checks have became the best-selling all-woman band and best-selling country group since now and Science Scan began record sales, recording sales in 1991. Now, I, as Chris Kruger said earlier, okay, in 2002, he made appearances on Sesame Street, but he did make, it, they made appearances on, on the B song. Now, the same year, on Sesame, we did on Sesame Street, okay? It's that same year. The Dixie Chicks were featured on the free television specials. Even with the Dixie Chicks, which is why it was across the problem in the VH, which crumbles material from the home, VH1, the Bible's Las Vegas, won't share. Um, uh, Celine Devon, um, I can't pronounce his August oh, name, sorry. Antasia, Stevie Nicks, N I C K S, not the A word, sorry. Mary J. B uh, Bridge, and Cindy Lauper, Wee Houston, and host Andrew DeGeneres, who later hosts the Andrew DeGeneres show, which is now canceled. And CMT, Free Hour Television Special, the 40 Greatest Woman of Scratchy Music. Now, that was it, okay? Now, I'm not gonna read all of the, the whole chicks topic. But that's just basically it. So she, so that's what we're gonna say here on this death topic now. And that is, and then before I move on, the next, the next step, and after this, and after all of that, um, as Chris mentioned earlier, Chris Nick said earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and say this: be by the Dixie Chicks. And we'll move on to the next top, dev, dev topic, okay? Okay. B song, okay? I'm not gonna go ahead and click on that. That's a big no no, but the song, but that'll be copyright reasons. This is what I'm talking about, okay? It's by, the, it's a song performed by Dixie Chicks, blah 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 B. They're back up by Big Bird, Bert, Bay Bear, the Couch, and this Bat. And a group of chickens. The song is proof of the Dixie Chicks song, I Can't Love You Better. That was it, okay? Now, I don't know about I Can't Love You Better, but what is this about, okay? Now, I'll talk about that later, but right now, let's move on to the next step topic, okay? And that is Mike Nozzlebaum. Born Myron D. Nozzlebaum, okay? Born, he, was Amer he was American actor and director, okay? Uh, best known as, um, these followings, okay? I'm gonna close this tab out, okay? Um, Monitors in 1969, GR Banks in 1971, and so many others. Man in Black in 1997, he was, um, um, and so many others. He was born in the Jewish family on December 29th, 1923. He was getting close to 100th birthday, wow. Grew up in the, um, Omni Park area of 
Chicago. He was married soon after returning to Chicago following military service, okay? Uh, in World War, during World War II. His uh, army enjoyments in Simon's was looking anyway, uh, including being sh sh chief of the message of uh, Center of the General Dwight D. Eisenhower. In which he wrote, he wrote, wrote in the passage of the official notification of Germany's surrender. For 20 years, he worked with his brother in law in his measurement business. His dad's career started in the community center in the 1950s. In the 1960s, he was actively developed um, professional, developed professional fear for community in Chicago, okay? He had young David Marmot, okay? In the process, he was appeared in May of Marmot's plays both in on and off Broadway, as well as in Chicago. The film includes Field of, of Dreams, Hawks of Games, Things Change, Fatal Attraction, and Man Black, okay? As a director, he's perfect in adventure, it could Wherever You Gone, wrote Jimmy Stewart in 2002 by Art Stay, okay? Um, now I'm on, um, also appeared in local television commercials for Chicago, North Federal Station Savings, including the jingle, It's Not Way, Northwest Federal Stations, time 63 hours a week, okay? Um, he also did national commercial with the United Airlines and Scope Mouthwash, okay? He also continued to act throughout the 90s. He, he also still worked on the Peer Project up until his death in 2023, okay? He was also married to Annette McBurr from 1949 until his death in 2003. He married Julie Bridles in 2004. He had three children with his first wife, Jack, Karen, and Susan. He died in Chicago home on December 21st, 2023, six days shy of his 100th birthday. Wow. Today would have been his 100th birthday. Okay. My next death topic is a Puerto Rican actor. Goes by the name of Kamar D. Laws Grace. Born that name. He was also he was best known as a portrayal of Antonio Vega in the ABC soap opera One Life to Live as Ray Well Mardinez. The probably ended in a 2012 video game and as uh, this name as and that's his that name, a character's name. But the probably actor was a 2012 video game, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. He also played Gobi, the demon of the fourth season of Pussy Be Howl, and while going on the rookie. Which is Ray G in, in, 19, in 2002. Anyway, um, he was born in December, I mean, no, no, November 8th, 1967, St. John, Puerto Rico. Anyway, he stars a Chicago, Chicago boxer named Pedro Roman Quinn in 1994's acclaimed fear, fanatical production of Blade to the Heat. The most uh, arresting figure, um, however, is Mr. The lost phrase more than anyone's he honors, um, the madness haunted eyes, stucking her cheeks, and shave and coffee. Okay? He exists up the portrayals, um, torments, and responds the enormous surgery in the ring. He has a short cur cur circus mind that's good, okay, anyway. And a silent scream of triumph and a guaranteed spine. Tangler from my dad. David Richards Fear, the reviewer of the New York Times said. Okay. He also appeared alongside Patrick Stewart as a dashing in the, in the Dick Tom Furhead in the 1995 production of William Shakespeare, so, The Tem Tempest. In 1997, he was also named in People's Magazine's Famous 50 list. In 2001, he started the television film The Way She Moves. She Moves, my dad. Excuse me, for whatever. Sorry, Annabelle, Annabeth Gish, my dad. And fellow soap opera star Daniel G Goswell. He also starred in the commercial lo film Love and Suicide and in Tony Braxton's view of the, her song Spanish Guitar. He has made a number of guest appearances on the shows such as Law and Order CSI Miami. In 1995, yeah, I was born. 
He also starred with James Woods, who has been known as the, vo the voice of uh, Phil and Venomet and Breeze Schools Out, Hayes and um, Hercules, and so forth, and Harris and Sir, Sir and Anthony Hopkins in the Nightmare of Grinch movie and so many others. Um, and Alvin Stone's commercial biopic, um, Nixon, playing combination Wargate Burger, uh, LG, um, Mardiaz. In 2012, he appeared performed in voice acting and motion captured body acting in the main Angeles Mardiaz. In the video game titles, called up to Black Ops 2. The game's publisher, Activision reports, and 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 minimum one million billion dollars. Wow, U.S. dollars, my dad. Growth in the first fifteen days of activity, which comedy states in support of the seventeen day cinema record hold by tw since, since two thousand nine by two thousand nine Avatar. Wow. In twenty thirteen, he played the role of Lost Wars gain leader. Sandra with the two part season finale of the first season of CBS police professional drama Blue Bloods. Born in Puerto Rico and Sandra and the Cuban Pit Brushers, Wolf Yayo Diaz, Braves, and the Puerto Rican mother, um, Marie Page, in 1967, date number 8. Um, Kamar, um, Lilar. Lost Blaze grew up in not Las Vegas, Nevada. He was Robert Pagarish, a part of a band in Chicago. Robert Wolfrayo Blaze Jr. is a former Vanny and now Zap Brown band proprietor Daniel D. Lost Blaze. He was married actress Sherry Shaw in 2007. They have twin boys. He has a na son named Kaylin from the previous. Relationship. He died from cancer in Los Angeles. Christmas Eve. He was 66, 56 years old. My next step topic has with Alice Parker. Born Alice Stewart Parker. Best known as um, American composer, arranger, conductor, and teacher. He was born. She was born on Boston, Massachusetts, on December 8, 16th. 1925. Wow. To Gordon Parker and Mary Stewart. After studying music theory with Mary Mason in the New England New, New England Conductory Grocery, my dad, my dad, excuse me, in Boston, Parker attended St. College, Smith College, Smith College, remember that, in North Hampshire, Massachusetts. Graduated in 1947, double major in organ and composition. There she spent a summer at Tanglewood studying with the conductor Roger Stahl, my dad, with whom she went on the long professional association. Enjoys her her perfumes, my dad. Before beginning a graduate program in graduate conducting at George School in New York City. While working as a teacher, Parker was also graduated with Robert Stahl and arrangements of major would be. According to Robert Shaw Graves, my dad, was featured alongside other singers on the front cover of Newsweek on December 29th, 1947, just so many years ago today. Anyway, in addition to work of the Carrays, my dad, Parker was, um, wrote a, a total of five operas, 11 song cycles, 33 canaries, my dad. 11 works in his chorus and orchestra, 47 choreo suites, and more than 40 original hymns, my dad. She also arranged the, um, uh, of spiritual hymns and folk songs, including French, Spanish, Hebrew, Hebrew is my dad, which probably pray for these Hebrew people, anyway. The writer of folk songs, many of which he have become part of the respectable choirs around the planet. Anyway, having to buy her time to become a New York apartment and a home in Army, Massachusetts, Parker decided at the age of 70 to move apartment to Singing Brook Farm in Parkway, Massachusetts, anyway, um, which her father had purchased in 1919, um, where she spent her childhood summers, okay? 
Holly, um, she formed founded the Professional Choirs of My Recent Choir in 1985, okay? Um, she was, was she, she released 14 albums and established a fellowship, um, program to disable new big career musicians to study with her. Parker attended the Pharaoh's Ferry Church in nearby Charles Mount, Massachusetts, and associated with his musical music program, something like that. Anyway, Parker served as born of directors of Chorus from America and was their first director while She received the Distinguished Composer of Year Award for the American Gold of Court Artists in 2020. I mean, 2000, 2000 excuse me, okay. 2014, Bach, um, Commissions for the American Cardinal Directors, Directors Award Association and um, the Harvard Screen Award Foundation Medal 20, 2015. Six Harvard um, Dodgeries and the Smith College Medal, as well as many other awards. Um, she was a fellow of the um, Society of the United States and Canada. It was awarded grants from the American Society of Composers. Authors and Publishers, National Endowment of the Arts, and um, um, the Aaron Copeland for Fun for Music, the American Music Contender, something like that. She's also honored by the American International Emily Dickinson um, um, Society for Choir Sweet Heavenly Hurt. In 2020, a documentary film by Ariel Monty Bradley was released, entitled Alice. A home was Alice Parker, produced by HFP, associated with Melodos at Corey Incorporated. Focus on Parker's formative years and a collaboration of text by Martin Luther King Jr., Archer Malich, something like that, Adora Welfrey, and Emily Dickinson. Okay? It was selected for the 2020 Virginia Film Festival. Okay? In 1954, Parker married Dominic F. Pyle from 1918 to 1956. 1976, first anyway. And Bartone Solis, a member of the Robert Saul Carre, whom she got two sons and three daughters. Following his death and a heart attack, the choir made up a four of the choir sang Brahms, which is boring, yeah, I know Brahms. Hmm. A German requirement in this. Memorial service in the Convent of St. John of the Divine, New York. She died on Christmas Eve of 2023. She was 98 years old. My next step topic has to do with Tom Smallers, my dad. Okay, born Thomas Bond Smallers III. She, he was an American comedian, actor, composer, musician. While known as half the musical comedy duo of Smallers Brothers, was his younger brother, Dick. Okay? As far as John Lennon we can write a brother's guitar for this um for, during the live recording of Lennon's ninety nine song, Give Peace a Chance. Okay. He was born on the on February second, nineteen forty seven, at the Fort Lett J Army Post Hospital in Governors Isles, New York City. He saw Ruth Nee Rumnick, um, a homemaker and Major Thomas B. Smothers, a U.S. Army officer who died in Paul in the Japanese in April 1945. Wow. And moved to California, he graduated from Renato Union High School in Redwood Beach. He was a competitive union cyclist and a site state champion, um, um, ch- champion gym- gymnast in the partial bars. Smothers later attended San Jose U- State University, then known as State Jose State College and Sage S A S J S C is my dad. Smart for they say is both in Jamax and Paul the well, for the track team. Smart's brothers intentionally wanted to be folk musicians. Tom did not feel like um, he was good enough to be a professional musician. He was it was fine enough to be a, do a comedy. The two began adding comedy bits to their acts. It was a series of professional series of performances when he was started to do a duet, uh, uh, um, Aspen, my dad. It was all the introduction. I just made up stuff to every song. And Dickie said, 
why don't you, you try repeating some of that stuff something like that? I said, I don't know. Um, I didn't know when you repeat, can we repeat the stuff that I started repeating that Stinky would say, could say? That's wrong. And, um, Brazil would say, that's wrong, you're stupid. Okay? So I began an argument. Um, Thomas Burst Beret in the, in the medium of television was in the regular the Steve Allen show 1981. He followed that well with a single episode of Burke's Ball. Something like that. Smartest Ball was the next to appear on CBS sitcom The Smartest Ball was Show. In from 1965 to 1966, Tom Bowie, the show, did not play the ball with straight and went to create creative control to their next venture. Smart Brothers Comedy Hour and Aftermath. Okay. Um, Tom Smarter's negative creative control of the next CBS show. The variety show entered entitled Smarter's Brothers Comedy Hour 1967. Okay. The Don Mary Smart, um, come on, that. Don describes how the Brothers from Ray Tom fought CBS censored the sneaks of. It refers to religion, racial drags, um, S word, am I going to say, and BM on more. Thomas Smarts was widely quoted and having said, the only value censorship of ideas is why the people did not listen. The Boris political, political stance that led the show's demise. While David Sandberg later claimed the most eventual shut body show on television shut down because of pressure. pressure. During the same years, Tom records mainstream songs on top, uh, uh, such as "Can You Help Can Help Feeling uh, Love Fell in Love with You." Tom later stated, "When since my brothers came out on the uh, on the air, we have no provincial point on view of our social consolations like that." I can't pronounce it. Sorry, um, consolations like that. I don't know. It just evolved in such shows on the air. Rock and roll give peace a chance. As long as it introduced some initial acts on the Marley Pop Festival in 1987, it became more political advice. He preferred his memory to call it celebrities like John Lennon. Celebrities like John Lennon, for example. Yeah, the, one of the Beatles. And, um, yeah. In 1989, as long as Lennon played. Because your guitars and lens re recording the single Get Peace a Chance. Okay. Smart's name was also mentioned in the song. Song was written and performed by during Lens and Oko Uno's Ben Honeymoon on June 1st, 1969. In room 1742 at Queen Elizabeth Hotel, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay. Smarts will be seen in the hotel room in 1988 documentary film, Imagine John Lennon, okay? Okay, it makes more sense anyway. Political involvement. At the comedy I was cancelled, Smarts became a more spirit in the po politics. I lost pro my sense of humor, became a positive boy for the first amendments am am like that. Okay? Freedom of um, speech, and I stayed buying into it. It was all about three years and my was deadly serious about everything. I still probably be active. I'm still angry, but I got the, my, my right uh, position now. In the 70s, smartest side popular comedian Bill Cosby took for not taking the um, stand of political issues in the day, such as civil rights, okay? At the time, I was really violent um, and thought everyone should take a stand. I guess I stand, said something that really pissed him off, okay? For a couple of years after that, I say, Hiya, Bill. How you doing? He would shake his hand with me, you know? Like, off, you know? Let's make sense. Anyway, in October 1976, okay? Cosby and Smarbers attended a Playboy Smashing Party, okay? Um... The fashions between the two combinations and Cosby punching the swabbers in the hand. Wow. Um, Tom Sawyer's politics were, and Mark and Constance and Wells and Spalmer, Dick, who conversion um, describes and more 
Profession, Tom, um, openly profession, Democrats, President John Lennon D. B. Johnson, like that. And his involvement in the profession of the Vietnam War. Tom stated in 2016 the duals, like, 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 political, philosophy differences were a key part of the ability to maintain the act of as long as they, they did. The film walls, however, in motion pictures, um, Smalls would probably portray the Corey Executive Turn Tapping Dancing Musician Doll B Man and Brain the Forest 1982 film Get to Know Your Rabbit. He also played your bank a banker something like that. He also played a banker, excuse me, sorry, man. In Super Bears. He also portrayed Renard Spike um in Silver Silver Earth in 1980. In nineteen seventy three, he voiced Teddy Bear. Theodore Edward Bear and Pat the Pappy um free leg on uh, NBC Emmy's Christmas special with the bear who slept through Christmas. Ten years later, he voiced him again in the Halloween special The Great Bear Scare. In nineteen eighty, he starred in the film Um There Goes the Bar Ride. Okay. In nineteen eighty two, played in the American cast in Vietnam, in which he a brave Canadian Mountie chasing down the serial killer at the Chew Air Camp. In 1983, um, he appeared in the episode UK television series, Tell the Unexpected. He also voiced the characters in the cartoon Christmas movie, um, Precious Moments, Timmy's Direction of Delivery, 1993. His later work began with this, okay? The Smarts Brothers hosted the NBC sketch comedy show, Saturday Night Live, 1982. The parody of the Tonight Show is opening sketch with Tom playing Johnny Carson, interviewing Dick. Okay, um, the sketch is trailed after Tom and and a character as Johnny. Okay, trying to go with Dick and talking to more about Tom. Okay, during the eighties and nineties, the brothers turned into television commercials, filming spots with KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, that is, and players, peanuts, allergic, yeah. Anyway, which uh, Tom invoked his famous line, Mom always did like you best. Okay? The top of the adult solo endorsement for Cheetos. Wow. Delicious, huh? In 2007, Tom and Dick Smarters filmed a series of top 47 commercials, promotional spots for River Rock Casinos, Casino in Graysville, California. To agree with their eyes in the recent years, Yo Yo Man um, was, became part of the show. Tom Smarts created their not, mostly non speaking character in the late 1960s. Okay. A commission performer that tricks doing, using a yo yo. The term Yo Yo Man is the of his name. In the late 2008 tour, Yo Yo Man was listed at the group's opening night. Okay. In 2008, during the 60th Primetime Emmy Awards, Smarters was awarded a special Emmy. In 2009, in 1969, when he was a head writer for Smarters Brothers Comedy Hour, the writing staff was awarded for the Emmy for outstanding writing in the comic series. The Smarters has refused to write his name to be on the list of the writer's name for nominated for the Emmy because it felt like his name was too conventional. The war with the 2008 Samurai was presented to, by Steve Martin, one of the writers who originally won the award. Wow. In the, in the December 2009, Tom and Dick both guest starred in the 21st season of episode of Simpsons. It also um, featured Cooper, Penn, and Ellie Madden, okay? And, and on May 6, 2011, okay? American um, Civil Evidence Union, Scottish um, County Chaper, are the smartest with his Jack Green Series Civil Rabies Award for his work against television censorship for his speaking out for peace and civil liberties. Tom and Dick Smarters were united in 2019, marking 50th anniversary of Smarters Brothers Comedy Hours about cancellation. On December 11, 2012, 2022, in the episode of CBS News this Sunday morning, 
The Bowers announced they would go on tour in 2023. Unfortunately, that will never happen. Okay. Um, Smart is the owner of Remick Ridge Vine Yards in um, Smart County, California. We get established in 1937, sold in 2023. Anyway, um, Smart's wife, Marcy Charrier, had two children, Bo, born in 1991. Riley Rose, born in 1996. He also had a son in his first marriage, Thomas Boyd Smarters, and the fourth, Thomas Jr., who died in April 2023. With one grandson, Phoenix Park um, Smarters. Tom and Dick had a sister named Sherry, born in April, September 1941, but obviously in California, who she died in April 2023, that same month and year. In April 2023, Smarters announced he had been diagnosed with stage 2 lung cancer. He died of this disease in his home in San Rosa, California on the day after Christmas Day of this year. He was 86 years old. My next deaf topic has to do with Bobby Rivers. Born that name, he was an American television and radio personality actor. Rivers is host of the top 5 show on Food Network, watched Bobby Rivers, a primetime celebrity talk show on VH1. He was he grew up in um South Central at Los Angeles and um the twelve in the nineteen sixties graduated from Mar Marquette University, of Wisconsin. Rivers first television appearance on the nineteen seventy skit K classic for, 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 film trivia game show. He was a high school student and during those times in the movie game, Sean in Hollywood, okay? He was the program's first African American to um Contested the youngest player, born in 1953, by the way. After working in American radio, he was made professional television debut in 1979 on Miles ABC's athlete WISN TV, a city's first African American script critic on TV. He did as a this in the contributor in Miles edition of PM magazine. Sergei show that has been shown to national host Matt Royer, Mary Hart, and Lisa Gibbons, okay? Two later became Entertainment Tonight, and one of them later became Today Show before he left in 2017 because of the Me Too, Hashtag Me Too campaign. During that time, he was taped to be auditioned as a positive movie critic replacement with Gene Sisko and Roger Ebert, the two of them sadly passed away in 1999-2014, respectively. Left Chicago PBS. For Disney vacation, okay? In 1984, um, he moved up to co host a associate producer of live weekly weekday show W I S N. Career continued with this, okay? After that show was canceled in 1985, Rivers offered a job as an entertainment reporter for W P I X T V in New York City. Then in 1987, he was hired as a DJ by the able. American Table Television Channel VH1. Executives were uh, um, otherwise his comedic and interview skills would land his own show in the network for the following year called Bob Wa Bobby Richards. Bob Bobby Rivers. Watch Bobby Rivers. Excuse me, okay. Stephen Owen and the New York Times call him Master Interviewer of the Gift for Banter. On, on VH1, he interviewed Paul McCartney, Turk Douglas, Murray Strip. Mel Gibson, Carlos um, Serra, Wild Julia, Michael Cade, Mel Blank, the late Mel Blank, that is, uh, Julie um, Foster, Willie Medelli, um, Marl Thomas, and Norman Marrier, among others. He also beat Jay Simmons with the network's new edition, Rosie O'Donnell, who was in, until 1990. Rosie O'Donnell later became the, the host of Rosie O'Donnell's show in 1996. Until 2002. Rose hosted the two short lived syndicated game shows, one called Bedroom Buddies in 1992. He was supposed to be the lifestyles and the entertainment um, part of local WNBC TV's Weekend Today in New York City and WNYW TV's Good Day New York. Later, later he was hired a replacement for Australian personality. Gordon Ariot, uh, who have left, um, 
Whoever is having performed on stage. Okay? And so on, 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 appear on the television show, The Spinos, in 2000, he was an entertainment editor for the Lifetime Live Show. On the NBC News, Lifetime TV, Weekday, New York Magazine, Now. He also worked with the camera for his host, Deborah Roberts, and the late, um, um, Dan Reeve. As a cancellation of Lifetime Live, he hosted Food Network's Top 5 in 2002. Production ended in 2004, but the show was weekly repeats until 2008. Whoopi Goldberg, Lifetime host and Ripper's VH1 talk show, picked him to be weekly film critic and entertainment report on the National Weekday with, uh, morning show with the premiere radio, Wake Up with Whoopi, okay? Show last one, 2006-2008. Director Steven Spielberg, uh, that's my dad, used to play Ripper's VH1, Interview of Spadberg Grace and the star Mary, the late more modernist actor. That's my dad. Anyway, the 2010 release of the entitled And Everything is Going Fine. The Rebirth wrote about the comedic acting to play Professor Robert Hogg, and, and you know, the Spark Wild Table News segment and Onion News Network Radio Podcast. For 2011, he wrote a blog about television films. Bobby Rivers TV. He died in Moses in Minnesota on the day after Christmas in 2023. He was seven years old. And my last step topic has to do with David Leland. Born that name, he was a British film director, screenwriter, and actor who came to international fame and was directed debut as the film called in that, um, Wish You Were Here in 1987. He was born April 20th, 1941, Cambridge, England, okay? Leland eventually trained um, um, an as an actor in Cheryl's School of Speech and Drama. In 1963, um, he was part of the breakaway group of Central staff and stewards who were formed at Drama Central, Central London, along with fellow students and Include actor and layer fear director Jack Shepard and John Lord. Okay, layer keyboard player and co founder of rock band Deep Purple and Whitesnake. Okay, after several small parts as actor, he began his um, cooperation with British fear television director Adam Clark in 1981. Their film um, made in Britain was well received and featured the first screen role of actor. Tim Wall, Wall, something like that. May Britain was won the um, Prix uh, an an international television award in 1984. Four, anyway, in 1986, Lee Lennon and director um, Neil Jordan co-wrote the screenplay for the thriller drama Mon Lisa, featuring Rob Hoskins, who later became the director of Smee in Hook, and the actor name for um, goes by the name of the movie. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Okay, was George? He was nominated for the B A F T A Gold Globe, Writers Globe, and the America Awards. Lee Ray wrote well, um um Personal Service in 1986. He was directed by Terry Jones and concerned Sylvia Payne, uh, a real life friend, my man, who ran a private Broadway for my dad. Julie Walters to the Took we role. While professional service dealt with the adult life of Sylvia Pay, his next film, which you were here during his teenage years, the film was assessed in 1987 Kennedy's Film Festival. Okay? It was made the young British actor, actress, um, Emily Lloyd, a, a star. It was awarded with F I P R I E S C I award. A case and the BAFTA Award for Best Screenplay. In 1981, Lee Lennon directed the successful stage musical A Tribe of the Bed Blue Brothers, my dad. Tribute, tribute to the Best Blue Brothers. Which played the, the West End on the West End on, and was toured the 10 years in the UK, Britain, and Australia. Anyway, his next two films, Check It Out with Jeff Daniels and Big Man with VM Nesson, for my dad. Um, Fire with the box office, but while well, the critics have been since been successful in the private market. In 1997, 
We love to call out the Rugged The Land Girls, starring Rachel Grace and Anne Frail. And in 2000, wrote the directed episode 6 in the HBO miniseries Band Brothers. In 2012, Leland joined the Showtime series The Burglars, my dad. Anyway, as co showrunners, my dad, and the executive producer alongside Neil Jordan. Well, he has worked on, worked on uh, Mona Lisa. With the, five, with the last five episodes in the second season, he directed the last two episodes, my dad. He described his stint as a show up, co showrunner, and executive producer, a hands on experience, and, and exper having a command and advanced research on the rail lanes, my dad. After the death of his friend, George Harrison, okay, with the Beals. Leland was closely involved in the former Beals Memorial concert with George and directed his command documentary of the night to be put on general release. The DVD of which would be platinum. The documentary also won a Grammy Award. He also directed the Dino D. Lawrence produced Virgin Territory released in 2007. He died Christmas Eve in 2023. He was 82 years old. Now we're going to do a moment of silence for of these nine death topics. Right now. Thank you. Rest in these nine. I'll be right back. I'm back, folks. Sorry about that. Um, before I get to our next topic, I'm going to just eat this um, oil minis while we're at. So, hang tight. We're going to eat this now and then we'll, and then we'll on my break. So, here we go. I'm, and it's going to take a last nation. Here we go. And have a, a calming rest. Here we go. It's going to take me a while. Stand by. Okay. Stand by, folks. Okay. For real this time, I'm back, folks. Sorry about that. I was just eating the Oreo minis, but... Pretend you didn't see me to see that. But anyway. But anyway. Eat those. But anyway. Um, next topic I'm going to read. And the first topic we need to read after the death topics are as follows. Muppet Babies. Copyright. Lack of studio cooperating. With keeping up off streaming. Why? Now, I grew up with Muppet Babies in, in the late 2000s. Oh, I was a teenage years. Unfortunately, this is why we're gonna not show up on TV. Well, I'm gonna say streaming service. Well, here's the reason, okay? Anime series Muppet Babies will likely, will very likely never be any streaming service due to the wealth of copyright issues, okay? Muppet Babies say that maybe our dreams come true, but they mean, do they mean it? How long has it been, been since that you're seeing it? Episode of Muppet Babies. Some of us may have see, seen it when they're off the air in 1991. But the rest of us probably most mostly caught it during the reruns, not uh, long after, okay? Unless we talking bootlegs or VHS rip like that, you are probably the last time you've seen the animated show, okay? So what gives? We're, we're the diaper clad version of Kermit, Piggy, Fozzie, and the rest of the game. Well, sad news about that. According to Guy Gregor, Gregor, sorry, Gregor, sorry, that, which is under the Jim Henson, Albert non Muppet Babies, the revival series, by the way, the reason we'll never have the show and do the rights, if you remember the show, will creatively incorporate clips of the classic movies, TV shows, and more as part of the Muppet Fantastics. Part of the action of works of Raiders of the Lost Ark from Lucasfilm, by the way, Star Wars, and uh, Weird Al's Eat It video. Wow. Back in those days, 
everyone loved us, which I love the most, by the way. They love Jim Henson. They do anything with us. We didn't fill our forms, requests, this or that. They possibly did whatever we wanted to do with the blessing of all of them studios these days. You know, they're owned by Disney Universal and they're not a com community wise and they're current level that we have in the A's, he added. That's why I'm sorry to say you will not be seeing the original Muppet Babies and this is the, uh, the question I get to ask and I got and he and I have to do with the babies. And I know how much you guys love the babies and would love to have him back, but I don't really know the way we will have it to happen. It's copyright trademarks that sort of thing, unfortunately. It's too much, you know? It's too much. Anyway, while one might uh, feature, the rise could be easily clear now, now that Disney owns the networks of Star Wars. And there's still plenty of fit that the studio doesn't get a gripe on it. No stellar Muppet Baby's fate on anyone ever being able to Available on streaming on home video. Food limited source at least. It's a shame that since a child in favor of May, my, my, myself included, according to news reports, says on jobbo.com, so it was written by the news report says this Matthew Plate, okay? Um, uh, but nothing has been since the DVD emerged. Hell, uh, I even wrote the Muppet Babies. Despite May, more than a decade ago, and just about anything that, that from the, that Kamal's holds, I say original show, which ran over over hundred episodes, ever having it been birthed with the sequence of uh, in the uh, Muppet State Manhattan. This had the premise given us five years ago. When you were a fan of Muppet Babies growing up, let us know below. And that's for that topic. Now is one the last topic, and then we'll do the promotion. Apple with the restart, and it was requested by Remix Palm, by the way. Apple with the restart, watch sales, and records memory blocks and ports banned. Thank God. Anyway, I was going to say sad about it, but it was thank God moment. Anyway, um, Apple has eventually returned to selling its most advanced Apple's watch models in stores. And the virtual appeal course terminated a block of swapping import bans and ways to swap. Smart watches and while a patient uh, this boot wins its way through the legal system. I will once again offer the Fed watches and sales as well as again Thursday at noon Pacific time, which is yesterday, by the way. The company stated in the statement. The announcement means I will sell it full Apple Watch lineup to customers at the time of the new year, 2024, the company said. Added to my desk. I will file an emergency appeal motion Tuesday in the U.S. International Trade Commission ruling that the win will affect this week. The ITC or the proposed Apple for reporting the Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Ultra 2, among other newer models in the U.S. because they violate patients um, in their recovery. The Biden White House at have until the end of Christmas Day to return the ban. But the office of the U.S. Trade Administrator Kathleen Todd confirmed that the statement Tuesday that the White House did not avert it to my dad. Appeal courts totally bought the ITCs um, or, or, the, or allowed our U.S. custom to consider Apple's re redesign or the offense of offending Apple Watch models. A fix that is expected to take place by January 12th of this year. Of next year, 2024, something like that. Um, the company said in the modern motion Tuesday, which is last week, or, or this week, something like that, that it could summon it for its harm. It abandoned it, keeps it in place, when the appeal is ongoing. I was already taking the offended Apple Watch models off this offline stores. And the Apple stores location offered Tuesday, Valley at latest top of the line. Watches in stock. The cheaper watch, Apple Watch SC, which is by the way, my Apple Watch by the way, which is not part of the ruling, remains on sale. But the band fence Apple Watch Series X, Series X, 6 or later, something like that. Uh, but all models of Apple Watch Ultra. Wow. Apple's teams have, have 
to work tirelessly over many years to develop technology that empowers users to with industry leading health from like that. Wellness and safety features and we are pleased the US Court of Appeals Federal Group for a state the exclusion or the while the third request to stay the or the pain of our field appeal for appeals from that. The company said let me just burn my eye a little bit. Anyway. The Apple Watch Series nine and Ultra Two Will again be available for purchase in some U.S. stores on Wednesday, but why are available rolling out in the some coming days? Um, which by the way is last week. Anyway, or this week. Anyway, according to the company, in October, U.S. um official International Trade Commission well the Apple was in violation of the post omission patient. Well, we use light based technology with red to read blood oxygen. Levels. Mashimo, a medical medical device ma maker, holds a patient in question. But the ban was a um an importance of non sales. Third party stores continue to sell the latest Apple Watch models, and even if after the ban, we end up fat. Okay. Within yet two days ago, some emergency days. However, Apple has won the early stage of requirements um paved the way. For Apple to continue um. Um, to sell the top tire smartwatches, even as it challenges the ITC's decision of court. Wednesday's last two days ago, or um, um, from the trail for it, the statutes, the ITC is not to enforce the ban. To further notice, while the court deserves to motion for the state pending an appeal, measures declined to comment. Said it on December 27, which is two days ago. That's it for that topic. Topic now. That's all our topics for the day. Now, before I end it, the topics to for the day, we're gonna have a promotion to make, and that um remix talk me to talk about it, and that is cold pizza. Now, I at first, um, I mean he, I mean he, did this years ago, um. My first thoughts about the, the revival of the series was maybe in, in depth, uh, let's say, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, um, I've, and it was a triumph to come back for 2024, per se. But I'm, I'm, I'm it's not a bit like, too dark for me, but it's just have some. But I didn't want to dislike per se. But at first I was a little bit too rough this week this week, unfortunately. But to, to fare the most per se, I was more more better that week. Yesterday today and yesterday that was with today, you know. With this week. You know, I'm I it was just all there. What are my thoughts on cold pizza? The revival. I think it'll be it'll be safer to say this, but um, it coming to it's coming in twenty twenty four. By the way, I think it'll be exciting to say the least. Um, um, I think if it was remixed, let me say this to you. Uh, I think it'll be exciting, and most importantly, a um, most important way to fit to begin twenty twenty four. Okay, and the most exciting podcast of the year, per se. No questions, no and no episodes or bots. Okay, because I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> but that's cold pizza for you. But anyway, before we get to what I've watched Disney Plus, and that's all for the topics for the day. Now let's move on to LG for fallback, which is two videos. Okay, now the first one. It's some, it's some good, it's some news I want to share with you, okay? I've won a giveaway, okay? Now this is not my first giveaway. I've won this um, this past um um now last week was not my first win. If you have if you haven't saw uh, a month ago, okay? Uh, back in March 2023, I've won my first giveaway, okay? 
And that's what we're going over today. The first out of the two, okay? So, um, this is what I want today. And, uh, and this is a fall back video. And that is from a box video for, uh, from September, November, excuse me, April 28th, 2023. And this is for Mrs. K's Clubhouse. If you're watching this, for you. Anyway, here it is. Mrs. K's Clubhouse, um, a box video. And I'm going to skip over through the box video I did. Through from October 28th, 2023, about Miss Case Clubhouse. Here it is. I'm not going to show the whole video, but I, I'm going to go ahead and pause. pause, 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 pause. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the whole thing. Here we go. Oh, now, I was saying March the. It all started March the. Okay, here we go. Um, a friend of mine who told me. Oh, I don't really go. Okay, here we go. And for now, for for now, today my last package for the day is um a friend of mine who told me you want to move um and let me tell you a brief story before I open this package. Okay, he told me you want to move um and I woke up my three hour nap and and I didn't expect this. The win is giveaway until now. I was saying March the it all started March the fourth, twenty twenty three. They said the winner is Lou Jeffer. I was in my nap, my three hour nap, feeling dope, felt so horrible. And then I felt a lot better and then at one something PM while I was in my nap. I woke up and he told me while well, he told me, You want Lou, you need to send me an address and I sent him his address me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Finally. So, I want to give a shout out to my friend Karen Stark. If you watch this now, you're going to okay, Mr. K's Clubhouse. So, without further ado, let's open this package now, shall we? What do we got for us? Um, just a disclaimer I got to put scissors out of the way so that way it's more easy. And yeah, there'll be kits of therapy in my package. Oh, wow, wow. Hair piece in the package. It's a kitty one. Okay, makes sense. That's good. Oh my god, I've never had this K before. If you watch this, Karen, thank you. Um, okay, um, okay, that one, I never owned that K, but at all. But, you know. Wow. Um, and I'll get to that in a moment. It's too, it's too sticky and stuck at the moment, but that's just me. Yeah, it's like, it's like, ew, nasty. <laughs> Continue on. Wow. Uh, come on. You know, I get it. I get it, folks. Let me get it unstuck and get this clear out of the way. Mm-hmm. Makes sense anyway. Okay. It's not letting me get it unstuck. It's like a scary movie or something like that. A horror movie or something like that. Yeah, it was. Um, Thank God. I need addresses. That's a big no no for everybody who watches this unboxing video for everyone. Let's see what it is. Okay. That, the first one I got is the 1998 pop, the 1995 copy of Barney and Friends. Family for special. I never had this before. Um, I thought it was rusty and everything, but that's just me. Man. Back activity. It features Barney's theme song, the family picks 
Tupac May, brother of my seatbelt, everyone special. This is Mary Knox, shake hands with a friend. This is Nick Apollo, and I love you. Let's see the giveaway packages got me inside. Mr. Pe Miss Pezor, love that. I haven't seen that yet. This is one of the giveaways. And Miss Second Book, signed by, um, oh, hang on. Signed by um, Mr. K, Clubhouse himself, um, Karen Stark. Um, front, the side, and the back features um, Karen and Jen. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, that's his first Belgian fall back. That was my first win. My second win is last week, okay? I've won this giveaway um, to, and to figure out what's going on. Now, the, f the second one is basically um, the body post and be shipping in free free two or three weeks. Be look out for it. It's be very exciting. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to this poster. So I'm gonna do a box reveal based on that. Be look out for it. So yeah, and this last Elgin Fullback video is basically of 2023. I'm looking forward to see it for you to show it. Okay. It's an LJP BM video. It's gonna be a ball drop video. I'm gonna be able to do it copyright reasons, but I'm gonna show you a ball drop video. Here we go. Um, it's basically a ball drop video on my first ever ball drop video I want to do on YouTube, um, on uh, um Facebook live stream, and it's basically be the the. A countdown from 60 to 1 and say Happy New Year 2018. And that's my first ball drop I've ever done. So, in years. I've never done it like forever, so here it is. Good evening, everybody. This is Jerry speaking. Well, 2017 is long gone, and, um, I'm about to get some water before we start the new year for everybody for 2018. So, um, yeah. Lay them up at everyone. I know Brandon's going to do his Facebook Live. Yeah, fortunately, it's Remix. Yeah. To make more sense in any way, um, Luke Jeffers, 2017, getting close to 2018, continue on. But, um, as of now, we're currently getting prepared for the new year. The new year starts in about three minutes from now, two, two or three minutes from now. As I'm getting record, I'm recording the new year currently, 2018, oh. as we speak. Yeah, and why does my hair look like this? It is a, a cottage ball then. My hair look like, like that now. Continue on. Ball drop, see what happens. Billy is watching this for you, but, um, yeah. Now... Billy, if you watch this episode of Epio X, um, I, this will be my son ball drop video I want to do on my main channel. I'm looking forward for this to happen, you know. As an LG Spam slash 12 vlogs episode, be look out for it. Get ready for it, because he won. So, yeah, I'm going to, what do you say? He's right. Yeah. He's right here, he's right in the back. Yeah, folks, um, I'm gonna make some videos to do it copyright reasons, so let's do it anyway. Anyway. I'm doing a Facebook live stream about this, currently. But, uh, yeah, I'm drinking water, don't ask me why. And this is a, di a different cup, not a, um, um, different type of live stream difference. Yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this, yeah. not... Anyway, next. Yeah, it's a thing, yeah. I'm just gonna let you know that my favorite moment for 2017 is um, my first day of the job and other things like that. Well, well n n it's difficult for me, yeah. Which is great, but you know, we're gonna deal with that right now.
No, I mean, let's do a copyright reason. So, there you go. And I'm using this to a copyright reason because of difficulties. This is how I made my sum time. There we go. So yeah, it makes more sense. And that will be my first ball drop ever from 2018. I bought, I'm doing my four, my sev one this year. So be look out for it. I'm doing it as much as you can. So there you go. I'm looking forward towards that, so here we go. Countdown to 60, starting right now in like 3, 2, 1, here we go. 60, and we're going to count it down to 60. So I'm doing this to a copyright reasons because I want to get to that. But And yeah, I'm doing this volume of, through the football. That was my sixth ball drop ever, you know, to make more sense in any way. I don't know what to do now due to the fact Vimy was shutting down. But you know what? Screw up with me from shutting down, but you know, in 2017, but I just thought it'd be a good idea to do this anyway. It was just boring as hell, but you know, that's just me. So that's all the others from fallback after this one, so I don't want to get bothered by that, but but after the countdown was over, I thought it'd be a good idea to figure things out, but you know, that's just me. Okay, let's go ahead and say Happy New Year to 2018, and yeah, let's speed it up a little quick, and yeah, this will be it for now. Okay, you know what, Happy 2018, and that's it, okay. I'm not worried about it right now, so there you go. That's all we're going to talk about for our control back, okay. Now, let's move on to anything else, and what I've watched Disney Plus, okay. And that is the Santa Claus 2. And that's all I did for what I watched Disney Plus. Okay? I'm not going to worry about copyright reasons, so there you go. And then, let's do the game segment. And then, we're not, and then we'll wrap up the show, okay? I'm going to do one game segment today, so I'm not going to worry about anything else today. That'll be it for now, so I won't worry about anything else. So, I was too tired at the moment to do... Do two, so there you go. Um, there you go on that. Opening card now would be a five. Higher, nine. Change the card that would be two thousand dollars higher. Oh, three. Hmm. Higher. Change the card that would be lower. Good. Lower. Change at eight to a lower. The eight, not bad. Two thousand dollars. Initially, I had to use super scratch of time, and that would be eleven. Start one. Fifteen. Wow, five. Oh no, nine. Eight. Seven. Yeah! Huh, reveal it, and that'll be. Wow. Okay. Huh, one strike three. Wow. Okay. Makes a lot of sense to me. Anyway. Um, man. Danger color. Wow. Million dollars! No green this time around. One. Thank you. Two. Okay. Eight. Uh oh. One more is ten thousand dollars. Three. 
Okay, not bad. Four. Okay. Nine. One more is 25,000. Ten, come on, we can do better. Okay, not bad. Five. One more is a big one. Six. Oh, review it now be 12. Not bad. Not bad. We can do better next episode of Epio X. Anyway, so anyway. <laughs>